I'm so good. Are you ready to get started? I am. All right, beautiful. So viewers while watching Rebel might recognize you from Tony Braxton, Unbreak My Heart, Superfly, or even The First Purge. How did you get your start in acting? Ooh, I love this question. Um, <laughs> I actually was a dance major for a while. Um, I went to school in Philly for dance. And I've been dancing since I was like three years old. And I think I got to a point where I wasn't feeling myself um, evolve more as a dancer. I think I kind of like reached my cap, but also just realizing, you know, like once you hit a certain age with dance, unfortunately it's, you, your options are limited on what you can do. Um, so I love performing. I've been performing my whole life. Um, so it, for me, it was just a shift in, you know, me becoming an adult and trying to figure out how I can perform for the rest of my life. And that was acting, you know, there's always going to be room for an 80 something year old woman to, to show up on screen for somebody. So um, I just made that shift my third year in college and um, ended up going to acting school. And then from there, it, the journey is wild. Um, <laughs> and how I ended up finding my manager who I'm currently still with, Gen Genevieve Penn. Um, you know, I found her just on a whim doing a a, a workshop for actors and managers, I mean, for agents and managers. And she was one of the people on the panel and um, it, it just things kind of fell in alignment. And with Genevieve is actually how I booked Unbreak My Heart, which was my first thing ever. Before that point, I had only been a background extra. Um, so that, that was a big, big, big moment for me because I also didn't know how to make a movie you know I went to acting school but it's way different learning in the field so that was kind of like a crash course on how to make a movie in 30 days and you're the lead of the movie um so I kind of I kind of learned on the job as well too amazing and you're originally from Baltimore Maryland how has the city influenced your work as a creative Yes, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, and again, there is where I started dance. And um, there was a actor's playhouse called the Arena Playhouse. And that was pretty much outside of going to Baltimore School for the Arts as a high school. Um, that was the only place for inner city kids to, to have acting classes. And so a lot of the kids from The Wire actually went to that same playhouse growing up. And that was where I had some of my first stage plays was that was there. But that's the only little building. I remember it like I, I can picture it. It's a small little building um, ran by a Black family. And they were just trying to give these kids an opportunity to, to, to create art. Um, because as we all know, Baltimore is not the safest place. Um, it is it's pretty rough. There are beautiful parts to it and beautiful ele elements to it for sure. But um, for the inner city kids, it, it's not always the best environment. And so that was one of the many extracurricular activities that my parents got me into was acting. And with you taking on the role of Cassidy, how does this character differ from roles that you've portrayed in the past? Um, I love Cassidy. So, so Cassidy is very, she's a lawyer, but she's very vibrant and she's very passionate and loud. Um, she is a spitting image of her mother, Rebel, played by Katie Seagal, and um, they bump heads a lot because they have a lot in common. It's, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's we see that all the time in relationships and friendships, mother and daughter relationships too. When you're a lot like your mom, but for some reason you just clash. Um, so although she's a lawyer, which I have had the opportunity to play before, she's not your typical just straight line, very corporate, very um, stern type of woman. She, she still has, um, she has a vibrancy to her and, and a, a passion to her that kind of sets her apart from her colleagues, which is also interesting to watch um, because it, it is so many men and women in like these black and gray suits and they're all very like, you know, but she's she shows up in a hot pink suit or, you know, something floral or it, she's fantastic. I love the the wardrobe that they have for her. But um, beyond the wardrobe, I think she carries a lot of um, a lot of what Rebel is packing, which is 
which is to be out loud and standing up for what you believe in and fighting for a real cause and making sure her point is heard. Um, no matter if she was given a moment to speak, she's going to speak anyway. So that's what, that's what sets her apart from anything that I've done pertaining to being a lawyer before. And with Cassidy having all of these elements and nuances to her, how are you able to sort of bring life into this character? Um, well, I, I honestly can pull from the material. It's, it's, just, it's watching Katie discover Rebel and work closely with Aaron Brockovich and, and then they, they have that down. I pull from that because again, that's the tree of which my apple fell from. So I'm looking to her to kind of guide um, the character, certain characteristics that she might have and the, the family backstory that she might have, which is a unique and dynamic one because um, as you'll come to find out once you see the show, is that this family is one huge melting pot as a result of Rebel having several marriages and children with each of those husbands. So there are a lot of layers to everyone that give um, context for why Cassidy is the way that she is. And with the show being loosely based on attorney Erin Brockovich, was there anything shocking that you learned about her life through this process? Um, that she isn't a real lawyer. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's shocking because you would assume, you know, is, is well, for all the things that she's had to fight for, um, that she actually be a lawyer, but she's not. And I think that's, that's, pretty awesome too um just because it doesn't matter what you are on paper what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong and we all have a voice and we all have the resources to um obtain solutions for problems that seem bigger than than who we are or whatever our college degree is um i, th I think that speaks to the level of power that aaron carries and with Rebel, this is your first time starring in a primetime network series. How does that feel to say that? It feels really, really, uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm really grateful. I'm really, really grateful for it because um, it, you're right. This is the first time I'm, I'm leading in a, a network series. Wow. And even just saying it again, it's just like kind of, wow. Um, <laughs> it comes with a different level of responsibility, I will say, that's for sure, because you have to, you know, along with my ensemble, we are carrying this story and it's on us to um, to make a good impression and make this show have longevity in the future. And that, that carries a lot of weight. I think in the past when you um, are guest starring or popping in every now and then, you're entering to a space that's really out of your hands and it's it's all on that person for depending, whatever this is, it's all on them. But no, it, it's on me. Um, it's on me and it's on my peers. and my who, the actors who play my siblings the parents it's it's on us to really um get this thing out there in the most positive light that it can be um that it can be shed so i just it's yeah it, it's a huge responsibility and i take it with gratitude for sure and you have a pretty powerful ensemble with this show what was it like being able to work together in this storytelling process it's cool. Even still to this day, I'm like, every time I go to work, I'm kind of pinching myself. Like, am I sitting here having a scene with Andy Garcia right now? Like it's kind of every now and then it's just like, wow. Um, it, because again, like I haven't been doing this that long. Like if we, I think the Tony Braxton movie was four, 2014 or 15, maybe, maybe 15, but it's just that that's not that long ago, um, you know, and so it's it all still feels like I'm a student and well, I'm gonna be a student forever, but it, it all feels very new. Um, I'm always learning something from from watching Katie, from watching Andy. John Corbett is amazing. James Lejour is extremely talented. And the fact that I get to go and play and, you know, do do these different scenes and scenarios and all of these things with them and, and they're they're legendary um, in their own right. It's it's very uh, it, it doesn't even feel it's surreal. It, it doesn't feel real sometimes when I'm sitting there and um, talking about Cuban music with Andy Garcia or you know talking about motherhood with Katie. It, it doesn't feel real, but they've we've all kind of become family at this point. So. 
it's normal, but every now and then I have like an outer body experience and I'm like, this is not normal, <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. Absolutely. And my final question for you is what are you most excited for viewers to see with this first season of Rebel? I'm excited for them to see a show that is a combination of so many things we love on TV. Um, it's, it's not just a legal um, procedural type of show. There's family dynamic, there, there are doctors, lawyers, there are recovering addicts. Um, there are, you know, sick people fighting against big um, pharmaceutical companies. And it's, it's so many things that we could pull from real life, meaning there are dramatic things that are happening, but with the, within anything dramatic in our lives, we can all find the humor in that. And that's what this show brings. It's, it's a little bit of everything that will attract audiences um, across the board, different demographics, because it's, it's so much, it's so many different elements that somehow all have to do with each other and all are connected, um, but that's life. That's life. So I think it's, um, I think it'll be very entertaining and very relatable as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Lex, and congratulations on the show. Thank you.